फ्रेंड हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ अनिल बालोजी नागती असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फिजिकल एजुकेशन फ्रॉम चांगू कानाथ ठाकुर कॉलेज न्यू पनवेल फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू से दैट ऑफ फिजिकल एजुकेशन और फिजिकल एक्टिविटी दैट फिजिकल फिजिकल एजुकेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डू सो मेनी एक्टिविटीज फ्रॉम आवर बर्थ एट बर्थ देर आर लिटल मोमेंट्स टेक प्लेस फ्रॉम आवर बॉडी देन थ्रू आवर ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट दैट मोमेंट्स आर गोइंग टू इनक्रीज इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट वॉट एवर मोमेंट्स ऑकर्स फ्रॉम आवर बॉडी दैट मोमेंट्स टेक प्लेस फ्रॉम आवर स्पेसिफिक पार्ट एंड फ्रॉम दैट स्पेसिफिक लाइन्स we call that the specific part it is a planes and the specific line it is a axis okay so today we are going to see body planes and axis so what is body planes an anatomical plane is a hypothetical plane used to transect the body in order to describe the location of a structure or the direction of moments second definition it is body planes are imaginary planes or flat surfaces that cut through and section the body in its anatomical position now we are going to see types of planes just i told that whatever moments occurs from our body that moments take place from our specific part that specific parts are planes okay and specific lines we call them axes so there are three types of planes and three types of axes first one it is a sagittal plane second one it is transverse plane and third one it is it is frontal plane okay now we are going to see that first one it is a sagittal plane now see there is a picture we are going to say our body is going to cut in a different parts okay first one sagittal plane second one transverse plane and then third one is a frontal plane then there are three axes first one it is a vertical axis second one it is a sagittal axis and third one it is frontal axis okay so first one we are going to say that is a sagittal axis okay sagittal axis means a vertical plane sorry sagittal plane means a vertical plane that divides the body into two parts that is a left and right side the plane may be in the center of the body and split into two halves or away from the midline and split it into unequal parts okay the so first one we learn about sagittal plane okay in the sagittal plane what type of moments uh, take place the first one that is a uh, flexion and extension this a flexion and ext uh, extension moments occurs in sagittal plane okay now for example suppose we are going to play on the ground while running while walking we are going to use the sagittal plane means walking then jumping squatting running kicking a football these skills occurs these are skills that take place in sagittal plane second one it is transverse plane transverse plane passes through the midline middle of the body and divides the body into two halves that is upper and lower half divide the body into two half that is upper and lower part okay now what type of moments occurs in that transverse plane okay that is a rotation type of moments rotation type of moments occurs in that transverse plane while 
rotate our body we are going to use the transverse plane okay then next one it is frontal plane frontal plane passes through from left side to right side means it is divided into two parts that is front and back side then what type of movements occurs in that uh, frontal plane that is abduction and adduction while jumping jack exercises or while raising our arms we are going to use that frontal plane okay second thing suppose we are going to do that a skill like a chess pass in football that time we are going to use that uh, frontal plan okay suppose we are going to do the skill of a heading that time at that time we are going to use that a uh, frontal plan while heading to football now next part it is a types of axis first one that is a vertical axis second one it is a sagittal axis third one it is a frontal axis i show that picture there are three there were three planes and there were three axes means whatever movements occurs from our body we are going to do that movements around that uh, lines imaginary lines we call them axes the first one it is a vertical axis the lines runs from top to bottom it is a vertical axis and what type of movements take place in a vertical axis there's a rotation type of moment suppose for example a skater when a skater perform a spin that time he rotates his body around the vertical axis okay then second one now see this is a vertical axis okay we are going to rotate our body around that vertical axis okay then next one it is a sagittal axis the line runs from back through the center of the body the line runs from front to back through the center of the body it is a sagittal axis for example when a person perform cartwheel that time he rotates his body around the sagittal axis okay it is sagittal axis then last one it is frontal axis this line runs from left to right through the center of the body the lines runs from left to right through the center of the body now see the picture okay how the line is runs from left to right okay for example when a person perform a somersault that time they rotate around the frontal axis okay now we learn about that uh, planes and axis and whatever movements occurs from our body from our birth okay that movements occurs in that planes and axis okay thank you